Three cubes. Three cube melted to one cube. Okay, let's read that question. Read it, Aman. Uh, read it. The the edges of three cubes of metal are three centimeters. Four centimeters and five centimeters. They are melted and formed into a single cube. And the edge of the new cube. Okay, so there are three cuboids. Okay, having sides three centimeters, four centimeters, and five centimeters. Three cuboids. It's three cubes. Oh, three cubes of okay, okay, three cubes there. All right. So one cube's uh, side is three centimeters. Other cube side is four centimeters, four. and the other side's cube is five, five centimeters. centimeters. Okay. So three separate cubes. One small one, one little bigger one, and one little bigger one. Cubes. Okay. Now what these cubes are all melted and made into one big what? Cuboid or cube? Cube. Okay. Made into one cube itself. <clears throat> What? Three plus four plus five? Yes. These are the sides. Okay. See, this is five, five, five. You understand? For this four, four, four. Length, breadth, height. Yeah, it's a cube. Now, what did I tell you? When you melt something and make something else, what is same for both these initial shapes and the final shapes? What is same for this and this? The one. The volume. The volume of all these three together will be equal to the volume of this one. Okay. We can make an in, in equation, in fact. Volume of first plus volume of second plus volume of third cube is equal to volume of the fourth cube. You understand? So now, what is the volume formula for this first three shapes? Three cube plus four cube plus five cube. Yeah, what is the volume formula for one cube? Which one? Volume of cube. There's no length, breadth, and height. For this cube, 3, 3, 3. All the sides are same. 3 into 3 into 3, right? So that is side cube or A cube. So A1 cube plus A2 cube plus A3 cube is equal to A4 cube. A is the side of a cube. Okay, so the first cube we're calling it 1, then 2, then 3, and then 4. You understand these numberings? Hmm. Now, first cubes, first side is 3. So, 3 cube plus 4 cube plus 5 cube is equal to this A, we don't know, A cube. Did you understand? So, solve this, you will get your A cube. <clears throat> you find A, no? See, what you did is you separately found, see, there's another way to do this, the longer way. How is the longer way? You'll separately find this one's volume, then you'll find this one's volume, then you'll find this one's volume, then you'll add all the volumes. Then that volume is equal to the cube's volume. And then again, you'll apply the volume formula and find the side. Okay? This is in one step. The question is to find the side of this cube. No? Check the question. <coughs> Find the edge of edge means the side, no? Okay, the side we are call, we are calling the side as a a four in fact. This is a one, a two, a three. These are the sides. So this one side is called a four. Our aim is to find this a four. Making equations like this and solving is the fastest method to solve this. Okay, the slower method is how. You'll separately find volume of the first, then you'll find volume of second, then you'll find volume of third separately, then you'll add all the three volumes, so you'll get the total volume of these three. Now that volume will be equal to the volume of this bigger cube, because it's the same material. Yeah. Then using that volume, volume is equal to A cube, you have the volume, you'll find the side. Okay, that's a longer method. Okay, here in one step itself, you can finish it. You understand how we did this? Yeah. Made an equation. All right, so three cube is... 27 plus 64 plus 125 is equal to a cube. Hmm. So a cube is equal to 216. A is equal to cube root of 216. 6 is the answer. Because 6 into 6 into 6 is 216. Okay, so answer is 6 centimeters. You didn't get this, right? Who all got this? You did it by yourself or how you did it? How did you do it? This equation way or separately finding? 
Okay. <clears throat> Shall we go to the next question? Write this if you did not write it. How many questions you did? Barrel two, you three, you three, you zero. Punishment is zero. Where is that long scale? No long scale, only small scale. This also hurts. Need a little longer. Right? I'm a dead day. Yeah, I'll get into the bone. Okay, we'll go to the next one. You guys are just sitting simply, you sit simply only. Okay. Question seven, very similar to this. Do it by yourself. Three cubes. Here also three cubes whose edges are X centimeter, eight centimeter, and 10 centimeter respectively. Okay, so these are the sides of the three cubes. Yes. They are melted and recast into a single cube of side 12 centimeter. Find X. So here also same story. Yes. Three cubes are there. They are melted and made into a bigger cube. And here they have given the size of the big cube, the length, the side of the big cube. What they have not given is the x. x. That is one side of the small cube. So again, same formula. I think it six. No, by adding, eight, hmm? eight is how, how is the same one? Because you are adding, you are doing, okay, if it, let's do side. You are doing side plus side plus side is equal to the side of this. Yes. That's not the formula, no. You didn't hear when I just now explained. What is the formula? Is it side plus side? It's volume of this plus volume of this plus volume of this is volume of this, not sides. The volume is 8 centimeters. The volume is not 8 centimeters. The side is 8 centimeters. These are the sides of the cube. See, if this is a cube. Okay, let's take a cube of side 8 centimeters. That means all the sides are 8 centimeters. This is 8 and the height is also 8. What is the volume of this cube? 8, eight into cube. 8 into 8. Yeah, 8 cube is the volume. The volumes when you add, you'll get equal. Volume of this 3 is equal to volume of this. Not sides of these 3 is equal to sides of this. Okay? So this is not your equation. What is the correct equation is? Side cube plus this cube plus this cube is equal to this cube. Which is volume of 1 plus volume of 2 plus volume of 3 is equal to volume of the 4. In this, you will substitute the values and you will get it. Come on, take two minutes and do it fast. Yeah. So the volume is 8 cube power 3. This is 8 cube. This is 10 cube. This is x cube. Okay. Those are the sides, no? How will you write x cube? x cube. No. You write it as x raised to 3 only. You have to find x. So finally, you'll have to do x cube root, just like how we did here. Here also we had an x cube. Here also we had a cube. We wrote it as a cube only. And then to find a, we had to do cube root on the other side. Question number nine. Question nine is the next one. You want to read the question loudly? 
The cost of papering the whole walls of a room at 75 pesos per square meter is rupees 240. The height of the room is 5 meters. Find the length and the breadth of the room if they are in the ratio of 5 5 3. 5? 5 3. How do you read that? 5 is to 3. Ratio is written read, read as 5 is to 3. Okay, guys, you need to stop and focus on what you're doing right now. Aman and Nathan. But always somewhere else only. Okay, what, explain the question. What is just now read? Students hear it. That's a problem. See, I don't like students like this in class who don't listen when the question is read, doing something else, not doing homework. You'll come here just like that. Okay, what all is given in this question? Yeah. What is 75 paise? Per hmm. So cost per square meter. Square meter means meter square is 75 paise. Okay. What are they doing? They're putting wallpaper on the four walls. Four walls, right? Which are the four walls of a room? Think of this room. Which are the four walls? That one? That's one, not the two, wall. Three, Which one? One. two, three, four. What about this and that? And you're papering down also? There's six. There are totally how many sides? How many sides are there in a cuboid? This is a cuboid. Yes. How many sides are there? Six. There are six sides. But you don't put uh, wallpaper on the top and down. Yes. You put wallpaper on the walls, which is the walls. Yeah. These are the walls. This is not wall. This is a roof and this is a floor. Okay. Yeah. So the cost of putting wallpaper for every meter square is 75 paise. So meter square means that is a unit of area. Right. So it's something to do with finding the area of these four walls. Got it? Now, what else have they given? Yeah, they've given the total cost. Total cost is how much? Total cost is rupees 240. That's for all the walls. Height of the room. You have to find length, you have to find breadth. Yeah, they have given the ratio of length is to breadth. Length is to breadth is 5 is to 3. That means length we can take it as 5. 5x and breadth is 3x. Yeah, you have to find x first. Okay. Now, what can we do? How do we start off? Hmm. So you have cost for one meter square and you have the cost for x meter square. Like you have the total cost. Total cost is a cost for the total area. Yes. All right. So how do we find the area? Okay, we can cross multiply. Okay, so total cost means cost of, instead of total cost, what I can write? Cost of x meter square is rupees 240. So cost of one meter square is 75 paise. Cost of x meter square is 240. X is what? The total area. Okay. All right, so if you cross multiply this, okay, what we'll get? Uh, 75 into x is equal to 240 into, okay, into what? Don't put meter square, there's a unit. Is something is wrong with this? What is wrong with this? What's wrong with the equal to? Yes, 75 paise is in paise and 240 is in rupees. You cannot have different units. You need to match the units. Mm -hmm. So, convert what? Okay, either paise you can convert to rupees by writing it as 0 0.75 rupees. Or you can convert rupees into paise. That is how much? 24,000. Because you have to multiply with 100, right? All right. So if you convert rupees to paise, we don't have decimal points. Okay. So let's convert the rupees into paise. Because if you convert paise to rupees, what happens? You have decimal point. Okay. So let's use this value here. That is 24,000 paise. So everything is in paise now. Yes. So x is equal to 
75. Okay, which tables? Okay. 15. 5. 4 are 20. Again, 5. Or can we do directly in 15 tables? 15 threes are? Okay. 15 tables, 48 will come. 45. 45. Carry? 3. Then? 2s are 30. 0. Okay, so we got x. So what is this x now? What is that? 320. 325. You are finding the meter square. You are finding the total area. Therefore, the area area of the four walls is 320 meters square. See, these two units should match and these two units should match. That's the only thing when you're doing cross multiplication. So these two should be the same unit. So if I say, if I say, here meter square, so meter square. We're getting our x and so meter square. If I say, how did we find the square? The only fact is these two units should be same. The money should be same and the area should be same. Now this is in meter square. This is also in meter square. It's matching. Here this is pi say, this is pi say. Now what we are finding is this x. So what we got x will be in yes. meter square only. Understand? These two units are meter square. So if it's x, you got meter square. The pi say was here. This two is pi say. Understood? No, left side units should match, right side units should match. Yeah. That's all. Okay. In the right side, there was a missing value. So that answer will be in meter square because it is x meter square, no? Yes. So x, what you got x will be meter square. These two units we took in pi say. Yes. That is remaining in pi say. Mm -hmm. We're not finding that. We're finding the x. What's the unit of x? Meter square. Meter square. Okay. Clear? Because the 75 with 24,000 were in places. So by that, we, how did you find it? Because x and this one is in meter square. Because 75. 75 and 24,000 is in pi 75 pi and this is pi say. This is the right side. Right side values. Yeah. Left side values are in meter square. Okay. Okay. So what we got now is the yeah. the area of the area four of the walls. Wall. Now we know length, breadth, and height of these of the cuboid. Can we make an equation out of these two? Area of the four walls. So, what formula for area of the four walls? What is the formula for surface area? This is surface area. We saw yesterday surface area of all six walls, two into LB plus LH plus BH. Yeah. That was surface area for? Chimpoid. Yeah, the all six walls, six sides. But here we don't have six sides. So we have only four sides. Now they have not given a formula. You have to make the formula. Yeah. Okay, so, surface area for four walls. Now think, this is the length. This is the breadth and this is the height. Okay. And these are your four walls. So tell me this wall here, the what is the area of the side wall? This into this. What's that? Base. What is base here? There's no base. Okay, come on. Listen very carefully. Okay. This long side is called the length. This side is called the breadth. And this side, this side is called the height. Okay. So to find this area of this wall over here. What two sides are we multiplying? Length, 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 length into height. Length into height. Okay, sorry. L into H. Length into height. This side also is length into height. Correct? All right, so there's two length into heights. What is this? This is length into breadth. But we don't want that. Yes. We want these two and 
here. Now, what is the area of this wall? Breadth into height. And there are two of them. So, plus 2BH. You understand? Yes. All right. So, we can simplify this formula, take two outside. So, then we get? L2BH. Or we can even take 2H outside. Because H is also common in both. 2 is also common. So, we'll get? L plus B. So, this is a formula for? Surface. Surface area of the four walls is 2H into L plus B. Okay. Now put the values here. Do we have the surface area of the four walls? Yes. How much? 320. And here, 2 into, we have the height and length and breadth. H is how much? I. Into L plus B. L is how much? 5x plus b is how much? 3x. We got ourselves a linear equation. Solve this linear equation, you will get x. Once you get x, you know what is length and you know what is breadth. Did everyone understand how to do this question? So how did we start off with this? Question is what? Find the length and breadth. We have to find relationships between all the values that are given here. So since they gave the cost for one meter square and they gave the cost for the total meter square, we could have, we found the total meter, the total area by doing cross multiplication over here. And then we had the height, length and breadth, but in terms of X. So we needed a formula which has uh, the area of the four walls. Yeah, formula for area of the four walls. So then we got an area for the four walls, which was 2H into L plus B. So in that we could substitute all the values that were given. And then you can find x. Okay, solve it. What I did is I took the 10 down. So then that 0 will get cut off there itself. So 32 is equal to 8x. However you do it, it's okay. Okay. It's done? Read question 10 after this. What is you got right? Length and breadth? Yes, How much? Yeah. X. That's not the answer. What is the question? Oh, you have to find length and breadth, not X. So what is length and breadth? Yeah, length is 5x, means 5 into 4, 20. 20? 20 what? What's the answer? 20? Length is 20? 20x. And length is 5x. That means 5 into x. What is x? So 5 into 4. Where is x? x is gone. x is replaced with the 4. That's called substitution. So 5 into 4 is 20. So answer is length is equal to 20? You lose half mark if you write only this much. You have to put the unit. See, height is in meter. So length also will be in meters. And breadth also will be in meters. 3x, 3 into 4. That is 12 meters. This is your final answer. 20 meter and 12 meters. Hmm? Pretty good. X is 4, no? Yes, now then four. after that length and breadth you have to find. Question 10, everyone. Yes. Okay, now before you start this question, you need to know your conversions. One meter is equal to how many centimeters? 100 centimeters. One meter square is equal to how many centimeters square? Meter square is unit of area. One meter square means one meter length, one meter breadth. So that is how many centimeters square? Will it be 100? It is, it is 100 square. 100 square means? 10,000. 10, so 1 meter square is 10,000 centimeter square. Okay. And 1 meter cube will be how many centimeter cube? 100 cube. So 1 meter cube is equal to 100 cube means how many zeros? 1 lakh. Six zeros. Correct. Two zeros 
So two zeros, two zeros, two zeros. When you multiply, you know, hundred into hundred into hundred. So six zeros. What is the number? Ten lakh. Ten lakh. Understood the conversions? Now you need these conversions for this chapter. Okay. Okay. Let me explain first, and then you can solve it. The area of a playground. Playground. Think of your playground. The area of that playground. Is three thousand six hundred and fifty meters square. Now, what are they doing on this playground? They're covering it with gravel, which is one point two centimeter deep. One point two centimeters only this much. So the whole ground is going to be covered with gravel. Gravel means these small stones. Now, the cost of the gravel is six point four rupees per cubic meter. So, cost of gravel for one meter cube. My one meter cube, right? Per cubic meter means one meter cube. Is it rupees six point forty paise? Okay, six rupee forty paise. Okay, this is the area. This is the cost of the gravel. What are they asking? Find the cost of okay the the total cost. You have to find total cost. Okay, so how will you find total cost? Let's start backwards, like from the answer. What do we need to find is total cost. How will we find the total cost of the gravel that you need to cover the whole ground? Area into see area is two dimensional. Okay, the gravel when you put the gravel, it's not in a two dimensional shape. the gravel has a length breadth and it also has a height of 1.2 cm so what shape is this gravel going to be in uh, it's a cuboid because it has length breadth and height okay let me draw it over here what is your ground shape or round shape ground shape, ground shape huh? see this is your ground okay i'm drawing it at an angle now there's a small height how much height is there 1.2 cm okay very small height of gravel that is covering the whole ground do you understand it's like that thick do we know the length the breadth and the height we know the height height is 1.2 cm do we know the length and breadth of this ground but we know the area and area is length into breadth right so we know the length into breadth we don't know length separately breadth separately we know the length into breadth how much is the length into breadth 3650 we know the area the area is length into breadth which is 3650 meter square do you understand so if you multiply this into the height what will we get yeah the volume formula for volume is what Length into breadth into height. Now we know the length into breadth. That is three six five zero. If you multiply that with the height, what's the height? One point two. Yeah, but this is centimeter. You need it in meter. So how much is one point two centimeter in meter? Zero point one. Zero point zero one two. Zero point zero one two meter. Because you need to divide this with hundred, right? So that will be zero point zero one two meters. So now we have the length into breadth, and we also have the height. You multiply this, you will get the volume. Did you understand? Once you find the volume of the gravel, then what to do with this six point four? Now just multiply the volume with the cost. Then you'll get the total cost, right? They have given the cost for one meter cube. You want to find the cost of these many meter cubes. So after finding this 6.4 we will multiply that with the cost for 1 meter cube whenever cost is given no if it's given for 1 meter cube and you want to find for the total meter cube what do you have to do find the uh, multiply just multiply we have to change it into meter cube we already changed this into meter no like length and breadth is in meter square so meter meter and the height we changed to meter so everything is in meter already Yes. Cubic meter is meter cube. Another way to write meter cube is cubic meter. The length, breadth, and height will be in meter. Volumes unit is what? 
meter cube another word for meter cube is cubic meter, cubic meter. what is unit of area meter no unit meter square unit of volume meter cube why we are getting meter square here for area and meter cube for volume yeah for meter square you are multiplying length into breadth that is a meter into meter that's why meter square the volume you multiply meter into meter into meter that's why meter cube here everyone so we write meter cube in the final for volume or for yes, cost for volume yes for this volume you'll write meter cube then you'll multiply this volume with the cost is everyone clear with this 100% okay solve it yeah you have to work on the small point is there so work with it write all these conversions first before you start this question what's the answer 280.22 not 22 Oh, yeah. yes. So here, I wrote as a statement, cost of 1 meter cube is 6 rupees 40 paise. Cost of 43.8 meter cube, 43.8 into 6.4, multiplying. See, in smaller classes, what we have learned, if 1 pen costs 5 rupees, then 7 pens will cost how much? 7 into 5, you multiply, right? That's what we're doing here. 1 meter cube is 6 rupees 40 paise. So 43.8 meter cube is multiply. So what if it's the other way? I give you the cost of 10 pens and I tell you to find the cost of 1 pen. Then what do you do? Suppose 10 pens cost 50 rupees. Then 1 pen costs how much? You have to divide. What do you divide? 10 pens cost 50 rupees. Minus? No, not minus, minus. Divide by mm. So the total cost 50 divided by the number of pens. Yes. 10. So what do I write the total of 4 rupees? 10. Finding the cost. No? Now, this is one important formula that I've written over here. Volume is equal to this length into breadth is what actually? It's area. area. We call this area of cross section. Okay, what is cross section now? Like for example, this thing, what shape is this? Cylinder. It's a cylinder. cylinder. Okay. So area of cross section means the area of this whole thing here. So what shape is this? Circle. circle. So area of this circle multiplied with the height will give me the volume. Volume is equal to area of cross section into height. Height. How did we get the area? Either it's given or we found the area. But area is what? Like length into breadth. Oh, there's a formula for finding area. And area into the third dimension will give you the volume. Area is two-dimensional. Into the third dimension, height, you'll get the volume. Sir, what? The circle, circle is not length into breadth. It's radius into radius into pi. Pi square. Right? Okay. Now a little more complicated question. Number 13. Question number 13. Let's read it together. And as I'm reading, you will now listen. Yes. A tank 20 meter long, 12 meter wide, and 8 meter deep is to be made of iron sheet. It is open at the top. Determine the cost of iron sheet at the rate of 12 rupees 50 paise per meter if the sheet is 2.5 meter wide. Do you understand the question? No. Huh? Tell me what you understood. How much deep? Eight meters. So that's the height. Yeah. This is eight. So you want to make a tank like this. You want to fill it with water. Okay. Now the top part of the tank is it open or is it closed? It's open. So how many sides does this tank have? Five. Five. The four walls and the bottom. You want to keep the tank open down means water will go out. You have to cover it, right? Yes. Okay. So there are how many? There are four walls and the bottom part. Yes. Top is open, like a fish tank. Is that clear? 
Yes. Okay. Now, what are we making this tank out of? Iron sheet. Iron sheet. Okay. Now, what do you know about this iron sheet? See, iron sheet is long. It keeps on going like that. It's long. You know, it's a roll. When you buy iron sheet, you get it as a roll. Like a tissue paper roll. Foil paper. Yeah, foil paper. Ah. It's a roll. Okay. Now, the length of this roll is what they are asking. See, determine the... No, determine the... Which question is this? 13. Cost of iron sheet at the rate of 12 rupees 50 paise per meter. What is that? 12 rupees 50 paise? 1 meter. 1 meter. That means, say this is 1 meter. Okay. 1 meter's cost is how much? 12.5. 12 rupees 50 paise. See, 1 meter. So this will be 2 meters, 3 meters. You see the, the, the roll. They are they're giving the cost of that roll per meter square is that much. Okay, now what else we know? The sheet is 2.5 meter wide. So this is the width, 2.5 meter. Now you understand what is this 2.5? That's the width of this iron sheet. Okay. So how much iron sheet will we need to make this fish tank? Is the question. You understand? Okay, so what do we need to know about this tank? I mean, volume or surface area? Surface area. Surface area, because we are using only the surfaces. Now we are putting this sheet only on the surface. We are not putting it inside. Yeah. Okay. You, you should know when to find surface area, when to find volume for this room. Okay. What are some of the questions which are volume related? Wall. Wallpaper is what? Surface area or volume? Surface area. Surface area, because wallpaper is only on the surface. What about tiles? Putting tiles on the floor. Surface. surface. It's on the surface, yeah, no? Surface. In fact, only one surface, length into breadth. Mm -hmm. That's not even the whole surface, just one surface. Okay. Uh, what about painting the walls? Surface. 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 How many walls you're painting? Four. Top is a different color. Top is always white. Suppose you're painting a, a room uh, blue color. You're only painting the walls blue. You never paint the roof blue. Yes. Do you know that? Yeah. The roof is always white. Have you ever noticed? Whatever walls color is, the roof is always white. So when you're painting the four walls, how many walls you're taking? How many sides? Four. Four sides. Here in a tank, how many sides? Five sides. Six. So depending on the question, you'll be either taking four sides or five sides or all six sides. Okay. Now, yeah, suppose you are filling water into this room, then you'll be talking about surface area or volume? Volume. Volume. volume because the water is inside the room. The space occupied inside or the space contained in this is the volume. If you're talking about how much air is in this room, then volume. volume. Okay, so understood when volume and surface area. Now here we're making the walls, we're making that. So we're talking about surface area. So what should we do now? We have length, breadth, and height, and we know the cost of this roll. One meter is twelve to be fifty paise. What do we need to find? Cost the total cost. So basically, you have to find how long, how much of this metal do we need to make this tank. We know the cost for one meter square. Cost for one meter. Sorry, not meter square. 1 meter is rupees 12.5. We have to find the cost of x meter, the total length. That's what we have to find. Understood? Okay, so we need to find this x. Then we can find the total cost. Two values are missing. So we need to first find the, uh, the x meters, the actual length. Okay, suppose just imagine we need three meters. Okay, so then the cost of three meters will be how much? 12.5 15 to three. I'm just giving an example. Suppose we needed three meters, then the total cost will be to 12.50 by say into three meters. Okay, what will be the area of this three meters of? So three meters into 
2.5 meters. That will be the area of that 3 meters of roll. See, our question is to find area. Here also we need to find area. Here also we need to know how much area of metal is needed. Clear? Okay. So first what we do? We'll find the area. How much metal we need, the area of that metal. And then compare it with this metal in this particular shape. Yeah. So do that first. Find the area, surface area of the tank. What's the formula for surface area of this tank? Five sides now. Think of this room. Start with this wall. What is this side? Length into height. Opposite that is also so two length into height plus two breadth into height. That's it. Four sides only. No, no. Two. The floor. LB. Length into breadth. Length into breadth. Okay. So this is your full formula. If the top also is there, then it would be 2LB. Then we can take the whole 2 outside common and there. But here we don't have 2LB. We have only 1LB. All right. So we can simplify this formula. We can take 2 outside from this 2. In fact, 2H we can take out. So L plus B, B plus LB. This is your simplified formula. So it's 2 into 8 into 20 plus... 12 plus 20 into 12. So 2 8s are 16 into 32 plus 240. So 16 into 32, that answer plus 240, which will give you the, the surface area or the area of material we need. Okay. I'll do that much and then we will see how to find this length. Uh, this, these values are in meters. Values are in meters. Huh? No. See, this is they have not given the cost for one meter square. So what we're getting here is not we're getting meter square. What we need here is meter. So we have to do that change. <laughs> Okay, 752 meter square. I'm, I'm with, what happened? Lost concentration. Last five minutes, you're not able to concentrate. Struggling to concentrate. Okay, what we got? What is this? The surface area of the material. That means the area of the material. That much amount of iron sheet is needed to make this tank. Okay, now here we're going to make one modification. What is this first statement that I've written here? Cost of, cost of one meter is 12.5. Yes. See, one meter is like this, one meter like this. What is this actual area of this one meter? Not the cost, the area. What is the area of this much section? One into two point five. One meter into two point five. So that is how much? Two point five. Yeah. So this one meter long rolls area is actually two point five meters square. What did I say? Yeah. This one meter long roll is actually two point five meters square. So in this statement, no, I can change it and write cost for two point five meters square is equal to rupees 12.50. What I've changed, I've changed the length into area. I converted this to area, area of sheet. Because our a, we got the total area we need. We need 752 meters square. And the cost for 2.5 meters square is this much. See, I need, I need to make the unit same. So what we did? Okay, so the cost of... What? What is the total area now? 752 meters square. Yes, 752 meters square will be how much? Did you understand these statements? No. 
Mm. First statement is what? Did you understand the first statement? Yes. Yes. Okay. The second statement is the area that we just got, 752. Yes. So we need to find the cost of 752 meters square. So we'll take the value as x. Then we can cross multiply here and find that x. Got it? Right. This one done? Yes. yes. What's the answer? Three, three, seven, seven, is equal to three, seven, three, seven, six, seven, six rupees. Three, seven, six. Zero. 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 So rupees 3760. What is this? The cost of? The cost of? The iron sheet. The cost of iron sheet required to make this. 17th. Did you all read 17th? No. Now you have to imagine in 3D here. Okay, these are all 3D shapes. You have to imagine in 3D, then you will understand it. A swimming pool is 40 meters long and 15 meters wide. It's shallow and deep ends are 1.5 meters and 3 meters deep respectively. If the bottom of the pool slopes uniformly, find the amount of waters, water and liters required to fill the pool. How does this question make sense with the diagram that you have? <laughs> this is what they have drawn. What's the first statement? A swimming pool is 40 meters long. Long. Where is the 40 in this diagram? This is the length that means 40 meters. And then, what is it? 15 meter wide. Why it's not there in this diagram? Hmm, it comes out now. See, this is the cross section. What you have drawn is the cross section. You understood cross section? This is, look, oh, cross section you have not understood. Without cross section, you won't understand this. What is the shape? This is the cross section. The bottom. Bottom or this side, anything. Any side that is uniform throughout the whole shape is called the cross section. This way, it's not uniform. See, this way, if I cut it, no, I'm getting a square here. Sorry, rectangle. Yeah, and if I cut here, I'll get a bigger rectangle. So I'm not getting uniform shapes if I cut it this way. So this cannot be the cross section. Mm -hmm. This is a cross section. Why? Because anywhere I cut, that I will circle. get a circle of the same radius throughout. Ah, yes. You understand what's a cross yes. section? Yes. Okay, so cross section has to be uniform throughout. For this remote over here, where is a cross section? No. Like this? No, no, no. Yeah. Like this? No. Like this? Yeah. Yes. Like this? No, no. Like this? 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 Yeah. So this is a cross section. Mm -hmm. So if you want to find volume of this remote, you just can do that second formula of volume, which is area of cross section into the third dimension. Third dimension is this one. The dimension that is not part of the cross section. How do you find volume of this? One, the normal ways are length into breadth into height. Length into breadth into height. But if you don't have length and breadth, but you have area of cross section, then you can do area of this cross section into height. this height, this third dimension. Okay, so that is the formula we'll be using here. Now, here what we have is the area, the cross section. This is the cross section. Now, I'm going to complete the swimming pool. I'm going to make it full size swimming pool so it makes more sense. This is the actual swimming pool. Looks like a dam. Yeah. Did you understand? Now, did you understand how the swimming pool is? Yes. It's, it's slope. Yes, it's sloping in. You know, have you gone to swimming pool? Yeah, it yeah. starts shallow and then it goes deeper. Yes, yes. Ryan, why are you so shy, Ryan? Put the camera on. <laughs> okay, see here. So, this is the shallow part. You can jump into the pool over here. And then you can go deeper into the pool. Do you understand? So for the pool, you have 40 as the 
length. This is length is forty. This is the length, and so this is the breadth. Breadth. This is the breadth. How much is the breadth? Fifteen meter. Fifteen meter wide. Wide means breadth. Explain the book which is written one point five. I read that is the oh that the height. That is the height in the shallow part. Yeah. In the shallow part, the height is one point five meter, and in the deep part, the height is three meters. Did you understand or not? Yes. yes. That means when you go in the shallow part, you say it's three meters. Yes. Okay. Now, this is not a cuboid or a cube. Or in this chapter, you're only learning about cuboid and cube. So you have only volume formula for cuboid and cube. Volume for cuboid is side cube, and volume of cuboid is length into breadth into height. Now, this is not a cuboid. It's not a cube. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But it's not any of these shapes. It's not a cube or it's not a cuboid so how will you find volume of the shape now you will use area of cross section into height or the third dimension so here what is the third dimension see cross section we're going to take this this area is this is the cross section right yeah so the third dimension which is not included in this cross section is the length yeah this breadth the width okay so here we have to do that find area of cross section And multiply that with fifteen. You understand? Yes. This shape here. What shape is this here? It's Which I've uh, shaded. This cross section is what shape? Uh, huh? What shape? Is? It's a two D shape. Area is for a two D shape. This is a two D shape here. It's kind a of a rectangle. Kind of a rectangle. It's a trapezium. You remember what's a trapezium? What is a trapezium? Opposite sides are parallel. That's all. So here only these two sides are parallel. The other two sides are not parallel to each other. That's the trapezium. So area of cross section is area of the trapezium into fifteen. Is that clear, everyone? Here I'll just I won't write fifteen. Here I'll write area of cross section into width. Why width? Why not length? Why not height? Well, that's not the cross section. Yeah, in the cross section you have the height and the length. Yes. That's part of the cross section. So the third remaining dimension is the breadth right. or the width. All right. So what we have to find now? Area of the trapezium. Trapezium. What's the formula for area of trapezium? This is from previous chapter. We'll Some call. Sum of parallel divided into. Sum of parallel sides. It is half into sum of parallel sides into the distance. Distance between the parallel sides. Okay. So half into what are the parallel sides here? Area. AD so AD plus BC into the distance. What's the distance between them? Forty. Forty. Distance means that perpendicular distance. See ninety degree distance. That's forty. See ninety degrees. Know that diagram. Look in the diagram. Yes. Hmm. We are not taking DC. DC is not perpendicular. Hmm. Understand? AB so into AB. So you'll put the values here. You'll get the area of trapezium. Then you'll find volume of the Swimming pool by doing area of trapezium into fifteen. Is everyone clear on this? Any doubts? He's like, no. What is this new new question? Now you're seeing it. No, no. Okay. What's the doubt? The tell. Ask. No. Let's just say this once again quickly. The question is to find area of the swimming pool. Okay, swimming pool is not in a cube or a cuboid shape. Yes. It's in some other irregular shape. Yes. So for that we have to use this third formula, which is area of cross section into the third dimension. Okay. So when we see over here, the cross section is this shape here, ADCB or ABCD. That's a cross section. So we have to do area of this cross section into the third dimension. Third dimension is this breadth. Yes. Is that clear? Yes. So that's all we are doing: finding the area of cross section and multiplying that with fifteen. The cross section is what shape? Trapezium. So that's why we're using area of trapezium formula to find the cross section. Is it clear? 
Okay. See the question. They have not drawn all this. You have to imagine all this. What they have drawn? They just drew only the cross section. The third dimension they can't draw. They could have drawn, but they didn't draw. You have to understand it. Did you understand, everyone? Do. Oh, by the way, you have to find the water in the swimming pool in liters. Here you'll get the air, you'll get the volume in meter cube. This way you'll get the volume in which formula? I mean, you'll get the you'll get the volume in meter cube. You have to convert that to liters. So, what is the conversion from meter cube into liters? One liter. How many meter cube? Meter is so long. Yes. Meter cube is such a big thing. That's so. In fact, liters will fit in one meter cube. Yes. How many liters will fit in one meter cube? When you do many into that much, get your answer. Thousand liters. Thousand liters is one meter cube. That is your conversion. One meter cube is equal to thousand liters. Just learn this. I'm not going through the derivation all that. That is in smaller classes. I would have done that long time ago. One meter cube is thousand liters. Memorize this number. So your meter cube. How do you convert to liters? So suppose it is seven meter cube. Then seven thousand. Yeah. So you multiplying with thousand. One meter square is hundred liters. Meter square is unit of area. Liter is unit of volume. You can convert area to volume. Volume. Meter cube is unit of volume. Liter is also unit of volume. It's like can I ask you? Can I convert my age to distance? No. Same way. Two different units. Liter and meter cube are of the same unit. They are of volume. Meter square is what? Area. You can't convert area to volume. Volume to area. Can I convert liters to milliliters? Yes. Yes, because they both are volume. volume. Can I convert my age from hours into seconds, minutes, years? Yes, they're all in the unit of time. Did you get the volume in meter cube? Yes. How much? One thirty-five meter cube. So in liters, it is one three five with three zeros. Does the answer be? So here there's one more zero that means. Yes. AD that is 1.5 plus 3 into 40. So 2 and 40 that's 20. So it's 4.5 into 20. Yes. 90. 90. Oh, so 90 meters square is the area and uh, area would, I mean, the volume would be 19 to 15. Oh, sorry. Correct, correct. It's 135 only. 135 to 1000 is three zeros, you know? Yes. Ah, so into 1000 is three zeros, correct. Huh. Oh, four zeros, it's right. No, no, no. Here, 90 meter. This is 90 is correct. You all got 90? Yes. What is 90 into 15? 1350. Ah, Hmm. What is it one? Why are you both doing this? Huh? Both of you are getting punished. <laughs> Both of you also get Why you kept it? Why is it? What is this? Give me an answer. Not in the situation. 
Anna, you are already hit. Anna, you are two punish, two beatings for your punishment. You only got one. Anna, you already hit. Three stars, one. Okay, now very similar question to this is question number 21. Question 21. All of you look at the shape. Did you see the shape? What shape was that? Okay, it's something like this. Now they are telling you in the question that the cross section of a piece of metal, four meters in length, is shown below. So this is the cross section of a long metal. What is the length of that metal? Four meters. So again, if I draw it 3D, then I have to draw it backwards like this. Do you understand? This is the cross section when you cut that metal. Understood? Yes. Like if I cut this, then it's a circle, right? Yes. Here the cross section is like this. In the previous swimming pool, what is the cross section? It was a trapezium. Okay. Remember, if cross section is there, then behind the cross section you have this long length, which is not drawn in the question. Same here also. This is a cross section, and how long is it behind this? Four meters. Four meters. That is the third dimension. Do you understand or not? Yes. yes. Okay. So similar like our previous question. First question is, find the area of this cross-section. Second question is, find the volume. So area of cross-section, once we get the area of cross-section, how to find the volume? Hmm? Area of cross-section. Yeah. This area of what we just got, multiplied by with the third dimension. What's the third dimension? Four meters. You understand? Okay, so how to get this area of this cross-section? If it was a square then you can find area or rectangle you can find length into breadth but this is not a square or a rectangle this is 12 this is 7.5 this is 10 this is 16 yeah they didn't give any values for this yeah so we need to separate the shape into two shapes like this so we have a rectangle and a triangle yes so now this 16 is for the whole thing and this is 10 so which means here also this will be 10 and this will be 6 correct out of the whole 16 this is 10 and this is 6 let's remove that 16 do you understand now here also same thing this is 12 and this is 7.5 till here is 7.5 so this remaining will be how much 12 minus 7.5 Amar, are you listening so 12 minus 7.5 12 minus 7 is 5 so 12 minus 7.5 will be? 4.5. You're minusing now, so it's going reverse. So we have two sides of this shape. Now this is a right angle triangle here. And 6 and 4.5 are perpendicular sides. What is the formula to find area of a triangle? We don't need the Pythagoras formula. We don't need to find this. You can just find area of this triangle. Half into, remember base and height are supposed to be perpendicular to each other. So one base we can take as 4.5, height we can take as 6. So we'll get the area of this triangle. All right. And what about the area of this rectangle? How much? Come on. Length and breadth. What's the length and breadth? Length is 12. So 12 into 10, 120 is the area of the rectangle so we got the area of the whole shape that's this first answer means we are adding both right we're adding the area of the rectangle plus the area of triangle that will be the total area and then for volume we are multiplying that into four is this clear everyone area of triangle will give you the total area of cross section no don't solve it. this you do as homework there's one more question i'll explain to you 19th one you can just uh, write down some hints for this. Then draw this diagram, write down the values that I've given, write down the formula. Done? Uh, question number 19. Okay, read in your mind. 
he already started okay listen what is discharge from a pipe of cross section area 3.2 cm square at a speed of 5 meters per second calculate the volume of water discharged in cm cube per second and in liters per minute all right so what is here you have a a tube a pipe okay what shape here pipe is in the shape of a cylinder now what do you know about the cylinder diameter we know the area of cross section area of cross section 3.2 cm square this is the area of cross section okay if we do area of cross section into the length what will we get volume volume of the water in the pipe you understand okay now you know that the water is flowing at a speed of 5 meters per second say this whole thing is 5 meters say the length of this pipe is 5 it's not 5 meter it is much longer but what they're saying is the speed of water flowing through this pipe is 5 meters per second that means in 1 second this much water flows in if you find the volume of this water in 5 meters what will we get okay did you all understand the question you need to understand the question before you understand the answer i'll read it again water is discharged from a pipe means there's a pipe and water is flowing through that pipe yes. okay the pipe's area of cross section is given and they are given the speed of water that's flowing through the pipe in 5 meters i mean in 1 second 5 meters of water flows through the pipe calculate the volume of water discharged in cm3 per second means in 1 second how much water is flowing out of the pipe that is the speed they're saying if i'm filling a tank okay in 1 second how much of the tank will get filled what volume of water will fill in the tank that's what they're asking in the first question is that clear how much down meter speed hmm meter is not speed meter per second meter per second what's the meaning of 5 meters per second 5 meters in 1 second that's the meaning of 5 meters per second what is flowing at the rate of 5 meters in 1 second so that's what i'm saying if this pipe just imagine this is 5 meters long that means what the volume of water in the pipe here is the amount of water flowing into the tank in 1 second what did i say in the pipe how much in how much how much ever water is in this pipe it's more that is the amount of water flowing in 1 second yes because that is 5 meters and 5 meter per second is the speed of the water that means so 5 meter is the length of the pipe Yes. We're imagining. The pipe is actually longer. Okay, the pipe is longer. The pipe is it's it can be however long you want. But the amount of water in this five meter long pipe is the volume of water flowing per second. Means per second that much water. Yes. Do you understand that concept? Yes. Okay. Now, what is the first question? What are they asking? So this only they are asking. They are asking the volume of the water in this five meter long pipe. That's what the first question is. Because that much is the water that's flowing out of the pipe in one second, right? So the first question is to find the volume of the water in this five meter long pipe. You understand the question? Oh, yes. Understanding question is very important than trying to. Yeah, meter. volume means amount of water in this five meter long pipe. They didn't say it as five meter long pipe. They said the water is flowing at a speed of five meter per second. But from that, what we understood is in one second, uh, the water flowing out, or what? How do we say this? In one second, the length of water in that pipe is which is flowing out is five meters. And the question also, luckily, it's the same. It's they are asking in one second how much water fills. Right in centimeter cube, what is the water discharged per second? Okay, so for the first question, you are just finding volume of this one meter long pipe. Clear, everyone? Now for second one, what they are asking in liters per minute. So we have the volume in centimeter cube. We have to convert that into 
liters. Now, one liter is how many centimeter cube? Thousand. It's thousand centimeter cube. Okay. So you have to think of this like this. This is one liter of water. So imagine I'm making a box, ten centimeter length, ten centimeter breadth, ten centimeter height. Okay. So that is ten into ten into ten. What is that? Thirty. Thousand. Thousand centimeter cube. That is the volume of this box that I have over here. So this full one liter water will fit into that box. Is that clear? So one liter is equal to thousand centimeter cube. We have the volume in which unit here? Centimeter cube. We have to convert the volume to liters. Also the time. Here the time was in one second. In second question they are asking in one minute. One minute. That means in sixty seconds. So what you have to do with this answer? First, you have to convert centimeter to liter. How to convert centimeter to liter? Centimeter to liter. Divide with thousand. Liter to centimeter is into thousand. See, one liter to make it centimeter, we have to do into thousand. So first step is to convert centimeter to liter by doing divide by thousand. Then next step is to convert the seconds to Minutes. So we have the water flowing one second in one second. You have to find the water flowing in sixty seconds. So what you have to do? Multiply with sixty, right? So these are the two things you'll have to do to get your second answer. First is what converting centimeter cube to liter. Second, what we're doing? Converting seconds to minutes. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, write this as your hint. You can go and complete it. Twenty-one also is similar to this. So nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Mark your homework. Yes. 